Hi, welcome to my channel. Many of you guys asked me to make a comparison video between these two. This is Ecologica Glow Plus Dewy Sunscreen and this one is Dot and K Vitamin C Plus E Sunscreen. I tried to make a shorts too but in 60 seconds you cannot cover everything like that's why I'm here. Today I'm gonna compare these two but I won't make this video super long. I'm just gonna point out few things that I, I think you guys should know and again I, I will tell you how this sunscreen are on my face and everything so yeah without any further ado let's get started so i'm gonna talk about the outer packaging and the fonts and the color themes and everything and later i'm gonna talk about the texture and the peeling so you can see both of them they are like mostly same color this one is a bit like bright like neonish in color than this one and the color scheme even the font color exactly the same but if i talk about the packaging itself it is different like it is in pump packaging and this one in this like as the texture is different, like it is water in texture, so the, the packaging is like this and this packaging is also cool, you know. Both of them are 50 gram in quantity and the price is, this one is for 399 and this one is for 495 Um, okay. The price is not comparable, I know. We'll get the Ecologica sunscreen on sale most of the times, whereas this one, uh, I don't see like more than 15% discount on Tottenham sunscreens on like most of the websites. So I think this will cost you more than this Ecologica sunscreen. And both of these are cruelty free, fragrance free, essential oil free. Uh, both of them gives protection against blue rays. Now let's talk about the sunscreen filters. Uh, First, let's start with the Ecologica one. Ecologica sunscreen is a hybrid formula. This one also is a hybrid formula. This one contains sunscreen filters like titanium dioxide, Suncat DE. Suncat DE is a combination of three sunscreen filters. It's a combination of ethoxyl methoxycyanamide benzophenone 3 and butyl methoxydibenzomethane. Then the next sunscreen filter is zinc oxide. And these are the sunscreen filter in this sunscreen. Along with it contains papaya, vitamin C and phospholipids that are amazing for our skin. It also contains ceramides and allantoin. Ceramides are like building blocks of our skin and allantoin is a soothing formula now let's talk about this and the sunscreen filters of this sunscreen it has the same sunscreen filters as this aqualogica sunscreen but the aqualogica sunscreen has zinc oxide in it whereas this one doesn't have zinc oxide in it it also has phospholipids and the blood orange extracts and kakadu plum extracts now let's talk about the texture this one is creamy in texture super blendable gives glowing skin like on this side of my face i've used this aqualogica glow plus sunscreen and can you see the glow and everything and it is super lightweight you can apply and reapply it super comfortably makeup glides like butter on top of this sunscreen and you know what there are some sunscreens that make skin dull this does not make your skin dull even if you reapply it it is never gonna make your skin dull and there is a there's a thing like when I applied this sunscreen my skin sweats uh, compared to this dot and key sunscreen uh, this is a fact I, I think I should know, uh, tell you this but other than that this is a super 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 formula that they have launched I think a, a 80 gram tube of this sunscreen also because this is their best selling sunscreen now if i talk about the texture of this totten key sunscreen this one comes in a like really watery uh, sunscreen type of formula this is like literally water like but uh, th there's a thing like this sunscreen i don't know if i should tell you the cons like right now or not but this sunscreen feels like see here you know see some the whitest thing because it has peeled from here and if i apply it over like you can say like um, hydrate your skin and then apply it maybe then it won't gonna peel still if i apply it over moisturizer it is gonna peel instantly like let me let me show you when i when i try the sunscreen over this minimalist vitamin b b5 moisturizer this one peels instantly but when i try this with this emulin moisturizer it doesn't peel honestly it doesn't peel because the emulin moisturizer is like super lightweight but this one is super lightweight also but it has like a silicone texture maybe that's why it peeled i don't know but uh, even if i apply it on my bare skin on dry skin people say there, there are people who are saying like apply the sunscreen on dry face and then it is not gonna peel even if i apply it over a dry skin sometime it feels like first of all uh, rubbing the sunscreen is a task like you need to rub it for a really long time and then it's gonna get absorbed into your skin but even if i blend it for a really long time it feels uh, i don't know what is wrong with this formula but other than that this formula is really good it does not make my face sweaty like i have a biggest concern that my face sweats a lot it doesn't make my face sweaty it doesn't make my face dull and i, I can't apply makeup over it because i tend to like blend my concealers and my, my blushes are 
my, like my cream products with my fingers like I have a tendency that I mostly use my fingers to blend everything and when I apply makeup over this sunscreen my my concealer feels and I cannot apply moisturizer underneath it because when I'm like it's it's summer and if I go outside uh, with uh, makeup on I cannot apply moisturizer because if I apply moisturizer my my face you know it, it becomes like a, a, a an oily tank I don't know so uh, when I go outside in summer I only apply sunscreen and then I do some light makeup and I go out but when I apply this I don't like I cannot apply makeup uh, because if I apply makeup it feels but the best point about this sunscreen is it it makes my face glowy uh, but not over glowy like uh, not the dewy sort of skin because in summer if you go out with dewiness on people are gonna think uh, you have seriously oily skin it does not make my face super dewy uh, it gives like the slightest uh, subtle glow that that I'm healthy from within it gives me this that, that sort of glow but it the biggest concern is the peeling and if I reapply it uh, sometimes it peels sometimes it does not <laughs> I don't know like it it depends on the sunscreen mood you know if it's gonna peel or not let me give you a close look of my face from here so can you see my face right now this side like they, when I applied it on both of my face they felt initially they felt same but after some time I, I, I started to see changes like if I apply both of them on both of my like on half of my face then this Ecologica one I don't know after 30 minutes or an hour this side of my face it, 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 it becomes dewier though this side this side of my face sweats but it becomes dewier and if I apply this it doesn't make my face dewy at all neither it makes my face sweaty and I don't know I'm telling this to you in my point of view that what I felt after applying the sunscreen it's not like uh, how it is gonna show results on different skin types because skincare is subjective uh, I have oily combination skin but I have a biggest concern that my face sweats a lot if you have dry skin maybe you're, you're gonna like this uh, because of its formulation but I don't know <laughs> I, I, I liked this formula just because it does not make my face sweaty and it does not make my face like overly dewy or uh, the dewiness it gives me is the slightest and it is the healthiest that I love and I love this one because makeup lights like butter on top of this sunscreen uh, it makes my face sweaty a bit but uh, the, the, the creaminess and the blending the blending of this the blending is Blending the sunscreen is not a task like you, you are just blending it and boom even reapplying the sunscreen is not a task because you can reapply it over and over like multiple times and it's not gonna make your face uh, you know dull or uh, dark there are some sunscreens that make your face dull but they don't even I have oily skin so I don't think it's gonna make your skin dull too even if you have dry skin I don't think you're gonna see the dullness but if you have like dusty complexion I think uh, this one might uh, make your skin dull because it has zinc oxide where, whereas whereas like this one doesn't have zinc oxide it means it has like slightly whitish hue to its uh, formulation and that hue you might not see the hue in your normal eye but if you have dusty complexion this might make your skin dull uh, because of the whitish uh, layer or maybe ash have a dusty complexion and you are like afraid of the dullness then go for this dot and key sunscreen and my final verdict would be I, I don't know if I have covered everything in it or not if you have any doubts just let me know in the comments but uh, I, I think I'm gonna go with this ecological sunscreen because uh, the price point and the texture and everything I like this one but when it is like hottest type of summer out there and I don't want to make my face to sweat uh, that that moment this is my holy grail because the texture and uh, af the after effect it gives me it is like out of the world like it is not overly dewy but it is the perfect type of dewiness that my, my skin wants currently in summer so yeah I think this is it <laughs> Let me know if you want me to make a review between uh, the Ecologica Retinist Plus sunscreen and the Dr. K Watermelon sunscreen because I would be highly glad. You know why I made this video because this one is the best selling sunscreen and people are like still asking me saying uh, if uh, the like Dr. K sunscreen is good better than this or not. For my personal opinion it depends on the weather okay. If it is like extremely hot out there I'm gonna apply this Dr. K sunscreen but if the weather is like presentable and I'm gonna do a slight bit of makeup then I'm gonna go with this one not skin type and skincare is subjective even the weather is subjective also so if like if you are from a tropical beachside area I think dot and key sunscreen is gonna be super good for you but if you are someone who lives in hill hill stations or maybe in Darjeeling or Kashmir or yeah like Manali Fanali then I think the Apologica one is gonna suit you because it has the creamy texture you don't need to apply moisturizer with it this is like 
yeah it depends on the season also and the weather also and basically where you live it depends on the factors also that which one you're gonna pick but uh, i live in uh, west bengal it is like basically india is mostly a tropical country so i don't know i don't know i'm, I'm literally confused right now <laughs> but i think I, I told you everything that i wanted to tell you and that's it and let me know if you like this video or not and uh, yeah i think that's it if you are new to my channel you can subscribe and uh, yeah bye